let's have a look at some physical properties of nitrogen. Nitrogen is a colorless, odorless and tasteless gas. So that means you cannot see, smell nor taste nitrogen. Isn't this amazing? Let me tell you about another interesting property of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is slightly soluble in water. One liter of water dissolves about 22 ml of nitrogen at 0 degrees Celsius. Nitrogen puts off the burning candle since it is neither combustible nor a supporter of combustion. It is an unreactive gas. The vapor density of nitrogen is 14 and the vapor density of air is 14.4. Hence, we can say that nitrogen is slightly lighter than air. We just discussed the physical properties of nitrogen. Now, let's have a look at the chemical properties of nitrogen. When burning an element with nitrogen, it forms their respective nitrides. For example, in the case of burning magnesium with nitrogen, magnesium nitrides will be formed. But tell me what nitrides are. Well, a binary compound of an element with nitrogen is called a nitride. Magnesium nitride is a binary compound that consists of magnesium and nitrogen. Similarly, when nitrogen reacts with aluminium, it forms aluminium nitride. Ammonia is obtained by Haber's process. In this process, nitrogen combines with hydrogen in presence of electric sparks to form ammonia. For this, a 3 is to 1 mixture by volume of hydrogen and nitrogen at about 450 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 200 to 1000 atmospheres in the presence of finely divided iron as catalyst and molybdenum as a promoter is taken. Due to the reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen under the required conditions, ammonia is formed. But what happens when nitrogen reacts with oxygen? Nitrogen combines with oxygen only in presence of an electric arc at a temperature of 3000 to 5000 degrees Celsius to form nitric oxide. Thus, we can summarize that when nitrogen reacts with metals to form nitrides, when it reacts with hydrogen, it forms ammonia. And when nitrogen reacts with oxygen, it forms nitric oxide.